Hey everyone, back again. I've got some uh, new interesting stuff. Okay, so before I lose the bulb, I'm just gonna turn this off. So we've got a true uh, magnifier setup uh, with a little bit of uh, Eric Dullard uh, information in there. Okay, so I've learned that uh, this uh, secondary, uh, a lot of the really big builds, uh, magnifier builds, have uh, uh, even a you know toroid to protect against corona loss um, off the secondary, but it acts as a shorted turn if you have the toroid connected, so it needs to be a, a you know like a split ring sort of thing and uh, that uh, basically acts as the final turn uh, going in the proper direction and then that joins the true resonator uh, quarter wave helix and um, that's got a uh, standard uh, toroid on the top there a piece of aluminum there um, so usually you've got to have your secondary inside the middle of the uh, uh, you know reactor uh, coil, um, but in this case uh, we've got outstanding resonance uh, from this uh, series LC um, terminal here. So this being the master oscillator primary, secondary, and I'm actually out of turns on the primary. It, uh, I, I think it can still get better um, just by having another turn on the primary, or I'd have to rearrange all my capacitors, uh, maybe take one out of the bundle there. Um, I had been experimenting with uh, half the amount of capacitance by doing that. So I put more in series and that cuts the capacitance down in half but then I I get to one turn and uh, still gets better and better so um, I'm gonna have to just figure out the right top load uh, dimensions but anyway um, I'm just gonna take the the light out of the picture there and show you the uh, kind of discharges we're getting so hopefully turning this thing off. So, it's pretty incredible uh, to get that kind of rise out of a uh, coil that's completely separate from the driver and uh, the electromagnetic fields that are so intense around the primary and it just gathers this intense electrostatic charge um, and then, so in the schematic here you'll see the uh, that metal plate is joined to the uh, to the uh, to the secondary side now instead of the ground side that I used to have, <clears throat> and uh, it's just um, a certain distance away from the secondary there that uh, it gives a, a big time intensity. If you take that plate or that connection off there, uh, the light just goes you know dim. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyway. Um, and then it's important also that you put a thicker, um, a thicker turn, a half turn on the resonator side on the bottom there. Uh, otherwise, uh, it just starts to leak, uh, leak corona all over the place. 
So uh, just make sure that those, uh, I'll just point at it here. So this turn is a half, half turn. Uh, don't make that into a full turn. You want that just a half turn, not just like that. So uh, same thing with that uh, toroid there, just a, a not a complete turn. And um, yeah, you can adjust this closer, far brings the light up. Um, so I'd like to still step it down, but uh, I'm able to you know basically just test by um, you know proximity with the ground wire uh, how intense the uh, the charge is built up, and uh, you know then you want to suppress that by adding more top load to it. But when you do that, you lower the frequency, so then you got to adjust here again. Anyway, uh, so I've got seven turns there, uh, 30 turns here, and uh, the resonator is 4.1 by 4.1 inches. Um, that's, uh, I'm not sure on the exact number of turns. Anyway, we were getting um, the uh, at least the resonator length in, in arcing coming off of it, which you want to suppress, but if you drive it hard enough, uh, I could even put a little sharp uh, object at the top there. Um, let's see what I've got around here. So this piece of wire. Uh, 